and then your vibration changes. You come back into this very peaceful place and you can see it because your worries and the fears go away, the anxiety goes away, and the people around you, they can feel it. They can see your calmness. And everything comes down. Because you get centered and you come back to peace and then they mellow down too. When we go into the anxiety and worry, then we're affecting the people around us and then they're starting reflecting it back to us. So I'm sure you've experienced this, that since you have been doing your meditation, you've been working on yourself, which you've been doing a great job. I'm sure you have experienced that in your surrounding, your household and your family, everything else, everyone else is mellowing down around you. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because you're turning to the Buddha in your family. You're the one who's doing the work because you're ready for this and it's affecting everyone else. So not only you're giving yourself a chance to attain liberation in this life, is your giving a major gift to people around you. Because they can see something has transformed in you. And there is, there is a light, there is an aura that you're carrying. And that's certainly affecting them. They may not understand it now. Some of them later on may follow your path but they're certainly feeling it, even though they don't understand it. Because you're bringing peace. You're bringing tranquility, peace to the house. by recognizing yourself, by recognizing your own true nature. Your true nature is presence. And presence is here. And presence is eternal. It's always been here. It will always be here. Despite of what appears to be. The appearance, it appears to be a, a life, a world. It appears to be chaotic. It appears to be the war. It appears to be that the ice is melting. It appears that to be that the world is changing with all this technology and we don't know where it's going to go and what is going to happen. And all this uncertainty, all these worries, all this stuff, all this chaos appearing. It appears, it disappears, it appears, it disappears. But the master, the Buddha, remains center. The Buddha remains in their center, unaffected and this concern to what appears and disappears. Completely indifferent to the appearance and not being fooled. It only looks like it's going somewhere and something is happening. It only looks like it. And your body is a part of that. 
It's going to live its life. It's going to live its, play its role and its duration into the lila, into the play. But you're not your body and you're not your mind or the emotions. You're simply aware of them, but you're not them. And all the fears and anxieties and worries that appear, they appear to the body, not to you. Because you are free. And you just stay in this place. And the more you stay in this place, the more everything starts to look illusory. The material that they've used to build this world, like when they're building, building a high rise and they're using cement and iron, they're using wood, whatever they're using to build buildings, the material that they use to build this, this world is change. They're using change as the building block of this world. And since it's changing all the time, it cannot hold its structural integrity for more than a period of time. So since it's built out of change, it's con continuously going to change from one thing to another thing. So it's space changing all the time. So nothing can stay the same. It's always going to change. That's, change is the only constant thing because that's what it's made out of. And it's not real. Real is that which never changes. Real is that which is always here. Always been here and always will be here. That's the only real thing. And what is that and where do you find that? For that, you just go inwards and you reconnect to yourself, the real you. And you will see it for yourself firsthand that the real you, your essence, never changes. It's always here and it's always still and it's always the same. And you can try it at any moment. Once you discover the pathway of how you can, you go into this place, try it any day, any time. Try it now, try it a year from now, try it five years from now. As you see your body's changing, your body's getting older, you lose your hair, your skin's changing, your eyes can't see very well, your, your, your bone structures, starts losing its density, people around you disappear, the world's changing, the architecture around you changes, governments come and go, economies come and go. So 10 years, 20 years, 30 years from now on, every time you go back into the unified field, it's always the same. It never changes. It's always still, it's always silent, and it's always bliss, blissful.